So I'm finally getting around to figuring out the ABS sensor issue on this car. And with how many times I've had these wheels off all around the car, I should have noticed this from the get-go, but figured out the problem. And I hooked up my computer into the OBD port. And uh, unfortunately, my regular OBD scanner will not work on uh, ABS systems, but my computer and the Forescan system works. So I was able to trace the code, as you can see. And sure enough, I got to looking under here, pulled out my uh, manufacturer service manual. And this is where the harness is supposed to go, or the pigtail rather, with the sensor, which would normally go here. It's gone, there's nothing there. I don't know why, but that's what happened. So the, the wires, and then there's like a stress relief or strain relief that comes off of this, and it just plugs in here. I'm just gonna plug this back in um, because I don't really want any moisture getting back into there. And I have to wait for the new pigtail and sensor to come from Amazon. But thankfully, it was just... I'm not really liking how that... I'm not really liking how that wiring is exposed either. But thankfully, I was able to get the part that I need off of Amazon. And that should be here tomorrow so I can replace that. All right, so we've got the correct part right here. Hopefully it works. This is a, uh, huh, I've never actually heard of this brand. German car part specialist, no idea. Hopefully it's a good part, but more than likely it's made in China. Just like uh, the Motocraft one, I doubt those are made anywhere special. So this is it. Let's install it. So all I'm gonna do is just pull out this connector. Pull this off. Install this one. Goes in perfectly fine. And there's actually a spot right here to probably get a zip tie around. Um, but we'll install this right down here. I am going to have to uh, see if I can secure this somehow. And we have the sensor, which I just have to pull this little bolt back out. That's just a 10 mil. So then this, presumably, just goes in like that. Make sure that this thing goes down all the way. And you take that one bolt. See if this will cooperate. Just like that. We're just gonna do it nice and easy. Perfect. Now just to do uh, some zip tie cable control. Get some stuff out of the way here. I might actually take that back. Well, I think it'll be okay here. Probably zip tie it around this or something. Anyways. It's in place. Got that tied. And that tied right up there. I'm gonna put some electrical tape over those wires just in case. Well, that's back on. So this light might not shut off instantly. We'll know here soon enough. I was reading somewhere that it might take a few miles for it to shut off for a few minutes, but that's gonna be the light that's gonna have to shut off. So it's not gonna be instant, like I said. Probably gonna have to drive it around for a little bit. 
because that tire's probably got to be spinning and that wheel's got to be spinning rather for it to uh, read anything. So drive it around for a bit and see what happens. And it literally just shut off. I didn't even drive maybe a hundred yards and it's turned off completely. So now really all the only thing I have left to do is worry about that airbag light. But that was a simple enough fix. Thankfully it didn't require any other work or wiring to be done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.